they supported Meg to wait. Uh, there were questions about fundraising. Uh, out of the capital campaign, the trustees were responsible for about a little over $21 million. So it's serious money that the trustees are bringing in. Can we bring in more? There's always a hope that we can bring in more. Uh, and, and that's basically what the trustees do. And if there's questions about that later, we can talk about it. Any, any, there's very few, like I said, unilateral things being done where one person's in charge. I guess most of that falls on my shoulders. Uh, that's the title. We'll go back to me being chairman now. Um, like when we did the search committee to find a new president, it was my responsibility to select that committee. But I didn't do that myself. I consulted with other people on the board. We had representatives from all facets of the Cooper community. And we started this transparency by including everybody. And I think it was really welcome as somewhat overdue and needed. And Jamshed, the new president, is furthering that and wants to be completely transparent. And we support him very strongly. So, Who do, you, oh, sorry. who do you believe is responsible for the current financial situation? Okay. Well, it would be great if there was somebody I could point my finger to and said it was his or her fault. But that's not the case. I mean, what I wanted my goal here tonight is to inform and explain, and uh, hopefully at the end of the night you'll come away understanding that the problem is a systemic deficit. It's nobody, no one person's fault. Uh, and we'll get into that as we go along. Do you think it's important to be transparent about the actions of the board of, tr board of trustees during the time that you've been chairman? Yes. Uh, would the board of trustees submit to an independent third party audit of community finances? Uh, not only would we, we do. Every year we're required to file uh, forms with the state government and we have independent third party auditors. That. We have an audit committee on the board of trustees that also monitors that and works with the outside board so, so, and that's all public policy, it's all public information. How do you respond to charges of the mishandling of funds? Well, at first I think it's offensive, but uh, I'll hop on that. The portion of the endowment that the trustees control, which is basically the cash that's invested, is handled amazingly well. As a matter of fact, if you look at the returns that they've been able to get while maintaining a very safe, low risk policy because we can't afford to take deals. And with that very safe policy in mind, the returns that they've been getting on the investment portion of the endowment outstrip most other college and universities. And in the crash of 2008, when places like Harvard was 32 percent, the outside consultants that we work with told us that our endowment performed just about the best out of any price because we lost less money than anybody else. Unfortunately, we still lost. Even the great results that Result of loss are not good for us, but there's been no missing money in the funds. I mean, I wish my money was handled as well as this one. Uh, two part question How is the board appointed? Oh. And, and, and would you support opportunities for the Cooper community to put individual board members up to a competent vote? Okay, the board members are selected by um, other board members or the administration's uh, recommendations. Uh, we have a thing in the charter where we we're supposed to have a descendant of Peter Cooper or a renewed on the board at all times. We currently have one of Peter Cooper's great, great, great grandsons. I hope I got the grades right. Uh, and we're talking to another one to, to bring him. Uh, we have a committee on trustees that selects out of the potential candidates for trusteeship you know, who we want and they voted upon and when they're put in, they get an orientation of the school and that's how they put it. Uh, would I support um, the Kevin's vote? Uh, I don't think that's a problem, to be honest with you. It's, it's really the high, but I just don't think that's a problem. Thank you. Um, most boards have a 3 G policy, which stands for give, get, or get out. Has the Cooper board accepted or enforced this policy? We don't have a give, get, or get out policy. We have a give, or get policy. Some board members have brought on for their expertise <coughs> and their financial capacity. Feel that's equally important and we may not be able to make logics, but we do expect the trustees to donate to their capacity and to try to get money from others. Is there a particular expectation of financial support from members of the board of trustees, either from themselves or through their contacts? You mentioned the uh, $21 million table. 
is that something that they expected, or is that coming out? Uh, no, that's what they are now. So we don't we don't set goals that way. Some boards, you know, uh, <coughs> you have to go and get some other goals. I'm on a few boards, and there's another board where we have uh, minimum required information by all the trustees. But here again, we don't have that because we value the expertise. But some members. Uh, this is a little more philosophical question. What have the members of the Board of Trustees done individually and collectively to protect our heritage and our future as a tuition-free college? Well, they donate money because the tuition-free part of the question all relates to money, unfortunately. That's what it's about. So they donate money. They help raise money for others. They laughed in the capital campaign. Uh, there's a lot of trustee names on parts of these buildings because they donate money. Mean, that's why you have made an opportunity. Um, and then the trustees are ambassadors. When they go out, they speak to other people about the union in positive terms and try to get more support from the school. Uh, the next question, I think we covered, uh, do the board members each have individual fundraising goals? And that's just yeah, we don't have an actual goal. Uh, what is the best way to raise money outside of tuition? Another good question. Well, President Barucha is a uh, is creating a task force to look at that very question and come up with ideas. And all of your ideas are welcome, isn't it? But he said there's nothing that's not on the table. We're going to look at any idea to raise money. But you know, possible things are even more grant money coming in for research to get in that. Uh, be coming up with some ideas here that can be developed into patents that you pay money at the school long term. Look at things like online education programs, uh, starting other schools. You know, nothing is really limited to this possibility. So we welcome all good ideas. I think we will get those ideas later. Uh, are board members required to disclose personal conflicts of interest in all matters pertaining to Cooper, including real estate and investment portfolio matters? Yes, every year the trustees fill out a conflict of interest statement and. Uh, uh, and that's made public if there's any kind of conflict involving or potential or appearance of conflict involving community. It's public. 